I don't know what's wrong with PJ. He only has to dance. I don't know what his problem is. He went night clubbing with you, didn't Yeah, but that was a disco. This is a ball. I mean, yeah. Everyone else is going. Even boss is bored. Yeah, well, that Janice on the committee, she practically broke my neck. Do you know how to dance, boss? Yes, of course I know how to dance. Tommy, in that case, you could come with me. I've got to go. You could be my partner. I've already bought tickets. It's a great pleasure as well. Great pleasure. Thank you. Hey, Matt, I don't know if anyone's told you, but I think your wife might be a little bit pregnant. Three weeks to go. Hey, Scotty, it's two weeks. You should know that. You're the godfather. I thought I was a godfather. Oh, you're both a godfather, boys. Yeah, of course. I'll get the drinks. How you doing, Matt? Good, mate. Good. Bloody marvellous. Boys in Brazil, magicians. Serious? Mate, I'll be around for another hundred years yet. No way! Come on, get your best down, ladies and gentlemen. Inside? Mount Thomas, 208. Ambrose on the way. Uh, can you give us a sit rep regarding his condition? Yeah, VKC, it's a uh, male. 60s, gunshot wound to the upper right torso. It's bleeding pretty heavily. Ambulance is on its way. Just gonna pop this behind your head, right? Receive that, VKC. Yes, sir, can I just be patient then here? Okay, here we go. What's that? Something important? I hope not. What's the story on the money? Well, the tote people reckon there's usually around 30 grand in the safe at that time of day. Any fingerprints? Only the tote clerk, Will Stone. Nobody saw anything or heard the shot he got. Who off. called the robbery in? One of the course officials. Well, somebody must have seen something. A motor vehicle, for God's sake. Well, there's been no stolen vehicles listed in the last 12 hours. They might have been planning this for a while. We'll check with St David's to see if there have been any offences with a similar MO. That was a hospital. Uh, Will Stone's out of surgery. He's going to be OK, but he's still unconscious. Well, that's something, at least. What about the stuff from crime scene? Uh, there's a bike pump there that was Will's. And we can check up on this mudlark pin that Jack found there, but it could have been left there any time. Uh, no, it would have been left in the last three weeks. It's just his grand final pin. Yeah, well, it could be hundreds of these around the place. No, no, they're players and officials' pins. Alfie Mumford. Scott Forster and Branko Panchik. I had 28 made altogether. Right. Actually, Scott was at the races today. I gave him some time off. Maybe he saw something. Yeah, we'll check with him. Thanks, Ian. Look, I know you could ask some questions, but uh, you're not really suggesting that any of the muddies could be involved in this, are you? Uh, we're just following up a piece of evidence. I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't like this witch hunt mentality, Tom. My boys are not armed robbers. Look, we're, we're just following up every lead. But there's a million ways that ping could have got there. There's probably nothing in it, but we do have to check. A man was shot here, and somebody we all know. No, I'm sorry. Things aren't too great at the moment. When's the auction? Three weeks, Tuesday. It'll be over then. That part, anyway. Well, at least Matt's going to be OK. Lawson gave us the good news. There's no good news. I'm going to the war, but I wouldn't have cared if it meant he was going to be OK. He's got a few weeks at the most. That is the last round I'm buying. So if there was a race Scrooge. course full of people, why didn't anyone say anything? You think they walk around with their eyes shut? Oh, uh, who knows? People around here. Now, where's PJ tonight? He's probably hiding to avoid the question of whether or not he's got a suit for the ball. Uh, excuse me. Scotty, what's up? Oh, no, nothing, mate. It's fine. What's the problem? It's fine. It's just Matty, you know. He's just a bit um, temperamental at the moment, you know? I know. Uh, listen, uh... You want to go and pull? Let's have a game of pool. You know, what's a muddy's pin got to do with Will Stone being shot? Oh, I was just following up a couple of leads. Uh, Ian Waldron said he gave you the day off yesterday to go to the races, yeah? Yep. But I didn't see anything. I wasn't anywhere near the office. So whereabouts were you anyway? Near the bookies. I'd like to uh, keep an eye on the odds. Did you win? I didn't lose, which is a win in my book. Uh, so you'll uh, bring the pin down to the station later? Yes, mate. Fine. Fantastic.
So it must be pretty creepy being the only one left here. Oh, yeah, but not for long. It's the last day tomorrow. You got anything going down at the station? My mate here is a copper. He can give me a good reference. What are you going to do? <sighs> Whatever clue, mate. So Ian's just spent a fortune on medical treatment and now he's losing his business. Scott's lost his job and they've both got footy pins. And? And? And that gives them motive, right? Well, both of them. Or either. Scott was at the races yesterday. Oh, it could have been a blown from interstate for all we know. Well, it could have been, but it could also have been someone from town. Someone knows what sort of takings they'd get out of this. Doesn't Scott have a history of violence? Oh, Scott had a fight with a mate who hit his head on a rock and died. He tried to cover it up, but yeah, that's not the same as pointing a gun at somebody and pulling the trigger. He's probably just put it somewhere that only male logic can figure out. Hey, look, don't worry about it now, really. He's <laughs> really so proud of it. They gave him one as soon as we got back, even though he couldn't play in the grand final. Lady, why don't you just uh, get him to drop it down the station later and that'll be fine. Would you, like, would you like a cup of tea or something? I've got some beautiful tea mum sent down from Queensland. Oh, I should be getting back. I... Ian thinks we're really stupid spending all this money on a house when, you know, we could live with him for nothing. But we just want everything to be as normal as possible for as long as possible. Makes sense to me. Hey, listen, man, isn't here, is he? No, I know. OK, well, uh, I got you this. The lady down at the shop said you might like oh. it. It's supposed to soothe the air and stuff like that. Get him to give me a call, will you? Yeah, yeah. See you later. Wow, is he always in such a hurry? Yeah, we're pretty speedy. <laughs> Ooh. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I just... I just copped a kick. <laughs> He's really playing footy in there. Feel this, Phil. No, oh, it's like a whole football <laughs> team. No, no, no. And I was feeling this little foot, I think it was. I'll come to think of it, it was probably pretty big. And it was kicking out at me. And then I'm looking at this girl thinking, I am ten years older than you, and here you are creating life. Meanwhile, Matt knows he's dying and decides to father a child. Now, Mags, how smart is that? Maggie, it's Matt outside for uh, you. Oh, had it on me. Kind of a good luck charm, I guess. Sorry I had a wasted trip. Oh, that's all right, I didn't mind at all. Do I get that back? Oh, yes, mate, a couple of days. Yeah, it's actually really nice to see Letty. She is doing really well. Yeah, she certainly is. Yeah, thanks for being here. Sometimes Police Acting Sergeant Stewart speaking. Yes, sir, I'm very interested. Yep, your name, please. I've got a lead on the race course sticker. So this bloke reckons he saw a guy leaving the toad office around 4.20. Well, it's the right time. Did he get a description? He had a limp. He favoured his right leg. It's amazing what people notice and what they don't notice, but it's not confirmed yet. Yeah. Will Stone's still unconscious and... Uh, Got no weapon, no money, no leads. Where are we with those footy club bins? Uh, we've got most of them, including Ian's. Uh, we're still checking. Joe has an idea that uh, Ian has motive. I mean, he's in deep financial trouble. Yeah, well, she ran that by me. Uh, him and or Scott Forster. What do you think? I don't know. I mean, Scott might be out of a job, but he's already on a suspended sentence. Oh, sorry to interrupt. I just spoke to the hospital. Will Stone's regained consciousness. Uh, I, I was closing the safe and... Uh... I just glanced around and here's this bloke coming through the door with, with a shorty. Shorty? Well, can you describe it for us? It was a short one, uh, sawn off real close. Mm. And he had this weird mask over the whole of his head. Sort of a Frankenstein mask. Uh, made the bloke's voice sound really strange. All hollow and and deep mm. but, but he was he was talking real fast i mean really nervous was he tall short oh, yeah. young or old you reckon not that big no he he was young mm. <laughs> bit of a tap dancer he was and what do you mean will a, a tap dancer well like i said he was nervous and twitchy sort of dancey. 
So first, he's got a limp, and now he's uh, dancing. What exactly does that mean? I don't know. We can rule out Ian Waldron. Now, where are we at with the mudlark pins? Uh, yeah, uh, Scott Forster is the only one of the 28 not tan in his badge. Jack, do you want to get into the bookies, see if anyone can confirm seeing him down there? Do you want to check yeah. and see if he's got a licence for a shotgun? Yeah, that'd be good. Joe, can you see who sells these Frankenstein masks? Yeah, righto. Scott Forster doesn't have a gun. I can tell you that for nothing. Were well, you sure you'd know if you did? Yeah, maybe I would. Jack, I know he's your friend, and I know you stood up from in court and kept him out of jail once. But it doesn't mean it has to become a habit. I, I'm perfectly happy to apply for a warrant. I just, I just need to know why we've suddenly changed our minds about Scott Forster. Well, we've now got a description from the victim, Will Stone, that fits Scott Forster, roughly. And we know that he was at the scene, but none of the bookies saw him after 4 o'clock. The robbery took place nearby at about 4.20. Maybe he's got a motive. Maybe. And it's not that hard for him to get hold of a gun. Bearing in mind that he's got a history of impulsive and violent behaviour, it's probably not a bad idea to check out his house and probably his workplace. Yeah, all right. I want you to teach me how to dance. Why? For the do. I mean, I've got the dress, now I've got to get the moves. Look, it's going to be pretty simple stuff, Chris. I mean, it'll be a waltz or maybe a foxtrot, a modern Tom, waltz, modern I don't know how to do any of that stuff. What, none of it? No. And I'm on the council and I cannot afford to look like a dill on the council. <laughs> You've only got two days. Don't you want to? No, 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 no. I'd be happy to. Um... Oh, great. Thank you. 10.30 in the pub? Yeah, well, See you well it'd be easier at my place. It'd be more private. Can't you at least tell me what you're looking for? I will let you know if we find it, Anne. <sighs> PJ. Shotgun barrels. Now, where would they have come from? I've never seen any of it before. What would I want with stuff like this? Well, Mr. Walden, who else could have had access to the dump master? Me, Scott. Any of the guys who work at the factory? Yeah, but you and Scott Forster are the most likely. Shooting Will Stone is not something that lad could do. Not in a fit. Anyway, the factory yard's been open and unlocked for days. Anyone could come in and shove this in the bin. Not very security conscious, then. Well, should I care? It's not my factory, not anymore. It's the bank's. Uh, Scott, if you don't want to tell me whether you put this stuff in the dumpster, did you see Ian Waldron put it in there? No, I didn't. What? Just got in there all by itself, did it? You ever seen this stuff before? For the tape, please. No. What about this? For the tape, I'm holding up a rubber Frankenstein mask. No, I've never seen it before in my life. Oh, yeah, Scott. See, this is a problem, mate. You're at the scene. You fit the description, we'd find all this stuff. You're just bent out of shape because I didn't go to jail over again, no. mate. It doesn't Settle matter down, what I do, Scott. it doesn't matter how hard Settle. I try. You're still there, Listen, and you're mate, waiting for me to stuff up. It's not personal, OK? But we've got an armed robbery. We've got 30 grand missing. An old man in hospital. Now, you know what's going to happen if he dies, don't you? It's going to be a murder charge. Now, Scotty, if you know something, now is the time to speak up and help yourself. All right. I shot Will Stone. I took the money. You got the evidence. Just bloody charge me and get it over with. I don't believe you could point a shotgun at Will Stone and pull the trigger, mate. Well, there are plenty of things that you don't know about, Constable. Why don't you just get out of my face? No. I just want to know why. Why? I would have thought it was pretty obvious, mate. I'm out of a job tomorrow. I've got no wheels. I did for the money, didn't I? Jeez, Scotty, that's, that's pretty dumb. A dumb? Oh, what would you know, mate? Your life's all safe and planned out. You get a wage every week. You got a career that's going somewhere if you're not too stupid. You live on a cushion. Oh. How would you know how us poor bastards, how we feel and manage? Oh, all right, so you did it. Where's the money? No, the courts will go a lot lighter on you if you give up the money now. And then where would I be when I get out? Completely broke. Don't you watch your movies, mate. We've just heard. 
Is there anything we can do? Mate, is there anything we can get? No. Close toothbrush? Guys, I'm just sorry. I'm sorry, mate. I just cracked, I suppose. And next thing you know, I got a gun. I didn't mean to shoot the bloke, but I did. And I tossed a gun in the river next to the bridge. I didn't know what else to do with it. We'll have to ask you to keep moving, sir. Sorry. Letty, I'm, I'm sorry I'm not going to be there to see you when the baby's born. Oh, I'll, I'll be thinking of you. I promise. Something, let him ask for it. All right, okay, say there's this couple, right? And he, he's got these two friends, and one of them's done something, something pretty bad. And has this got something to do with Scott Forster? If you know something that has a bearing on the case. No, not no, I just have a gut feeling, if you know what I mean. Then, hypothetically speaking, I'd say you have a duty to come forward. You always tell us to work with evidence. I don't have any evidence. Then you're gonna have to find some evidence or get a confession. I didn't know he needed money. I thought he was even worried about it. It's two sugars, isn't it? I mean, I'm supposed to be his friend. Yeah, me too. You know? The thing is, thanks. If he goes down for this, he goes down for a long time. He knows that. I don't get it. <laughs> you know, what would make more sense is if someone can understand if you did it, you know. There's a logic to it, you know. Got a kid coming. Stuff. Crazy circumstances. <laughs> Look, man, who knows what goes through Scott's mind? <laughs> not his keeper. Mm. Yeah, I know. He's not your keeper either. Side to get back. Back. Well, that's easy. Side what can we do a face to face thing? Yeah? Yeah, okay. We've got that bit. Good, alright. <laughs> Okay, back on the right and back, back, side to get forward, forward, uh -uh. side to get Sorry back, if I can keep watching. Back. I couldn't believe it when I heard about Scott, you know. Forward, side to get I mean, there, anyone. Yeah. How's Jack taking it? Because they're pretty close. Yeah, well they all were, all three of them. Three? Yeah. Oh you mean Matt as yes, well? Yes, yes, look. It sounds complicated. Well these things usually are. Look, do you want to learn this or don't you? Yes, boss. Alright, well behave yourself. Yes, boss. Not a game. You don't understand a thing, mate. And buying Matt a bit of time isn't going to change the fact that he's going to die. You think some deathbed confession from Matt's going to clear you? Well, you're wrong. Here's a flash. It won't be admissible. He'll be dead and you'll be in jail. Scotty, you're a hero. But you're wrecking your life. And Letty's too. Matt will be gone, you'll be in jail. Who will she have then? Look, it's not a crime to love someone. I'm not in love with Letty. No, I didn't say you were. I'm just saying if you love your friends, you've got to be around to help them. Oh, yeah, well, thanks for all the crap, mate. I've got a day at Remand Centre. I'll see you later. Hey, Scott. One thing. You know that shotty you used? What make was it? I thought so. I don't understand what Matt's got to do with it. Scott's already confessed. I'm well aware of that. Now I need to know where Matt was at the time of the robbery. Well, ask him. I intend to, but right now I'm asking you. But why? Did you see him? Oh, Matt wouldn't do something Did like you that. see him at the time? Tom, he's my son, he's dying. I wish I could say it made a difference, but it doesn't. Not to the law. Will Stone nearly died. Ian, I need you to tell me what you know. I can't help you, Tom. Evidence was found on your premises. I know nothing more about that stuff than you do. I have reason to believe that Scott Forster covering for someone. 
we may well have the wrong man. Maybe, but Scott Forster's confessed. Well, where did this come from? Actually, it came from me, mate. I don't think Scott did it. Uh, the divers have found a shotgun. They're taking it over St David's to get some prints from it, but they're going to be lucky to find anything after being in the water for so long. Where was it? Near the bridge. Well, that's where Forster said it was. But if he dumped it after the robbery, it could have been further downstream by now. Well, not necessarily. But it could have gone in later when he was in custody. Well, it could have been dumped there by a friend helping him out. Look, Scott didn't even know the make of this gun that he was supposed all to right, use. All right, all right. Any news yet from forensic on that shotgun barrel and the hacksaw blade you found at Waldron's factory? No, still waiting. Look, we've got another witness and she's described a slim man with a red kit bag. Did he have a limp? Didn't mention a limp. Well, Scott Forster doesn't have a limp. I know there's Matt Waldron. But you think it's Matt though, don't you? Yeah. Well, he's got to be worth a conversation. I've already spoken to him, didn't get anywhere. Well, I could have a chat with Letty. I'll do it if you like, just trust me. The hospital just rang. Will Stone just found $5,000 in neatly rolled up bills in a locker beside his bed. The nurse swears black and blue it wasn't there this morning and the only visit he's had since is Ian Waldron. Ian Waldron? He hasn't got five grand. I think it might be time to get another warrant. I needed the money because the factory was going bust. I had nothing to give Matt and Letty. I didn't mean to shoot Will. It was an accident. And so you gave Will Stone the money because you felt sorry for what you'd done? Yes. Ian, do I look like the local parish priest? Because I've got confessions coming out of my ears. Now, I know that you didn't do it, so why don't you just come clean and tell us exactly what happened? I have. Ian, you don't fit the description. Well, how would you know? I was wearing a mask. Look, the most we're going to do is charge you with being an accessory. But it'll still go down your record. Now, you don't want that, do you? Ian, we're not without sympathy as to why you're doing this. But you really need to tell us who gave you the bag to put in the roof. I keep telling you. No one. You're bailed on your own undertaking to appear in St David's Magistrate's Court on the 14th of December. Made a bit of progress. With what? The mask. I found out who bought it. Was it Matt? No. It's Scott Forster. Clear ID and a credit card slip. Turns out he bought the mask along with a whole lot of other magic tricks and fake dog poo and stuff. Yeah, he did. He gave him a whole stack of stupid stuff last year in a Christmas stocking. You know, fake vomit and sneezing powder and that. Why? It was met with you around about four o'clock, the day before yesterday. I, I don't know. I don't even know what day it is half the time these days. Yeah, I know. But we really need your help. Was Matt with you at the time? Oh, look, I don't know. Just heard you bastards got Letty here. Hey, you Maddie, can't come Maddie, through. Maddie, yeah, I want to see her. What are you doing no, to her? She'll be out in a minute, Joe. It's cool, I've got this. You ain't doing anything to her. No, her. no one's going to hurt her. Except maybe you. You've got to come clean. You've got to tell us about what you've done because Scotty's going to go down for a long time because of you and it's not fair. There's a lot of things that aren't fair, mate, but I'm not going to jail, not now. I'm going to see my kid well, boy. They know you did it, they just can't prove it. Well, if they can prove it, then let them prove it. Maybe we should have a talk, mate. Nothing. Nothing, but he's good as confessed to me out there. But he didn't confess where it counted. In the interview room, on tape, he just clammed up. Right, right, okay, it's his baby, mate. He wants to be around when he's born. Isn't there some Lawson. way that we can... He'll confess. Lawson, none of us like this any more than you do. But it's not up to us to make deals, and not you. Okay, we could, it's we could. up to the court. Couldn't we put it no, to him? No, we couldn't. Jack, I think you're missing the point here. If Matt did this on his own, then he's letting his friend take the blame for it. That's pretty callous and selfish, don't you think? He's not thinking straight. He can't think straight. Yeah. Hey, Will. Now, you said yesterday that the bloke who shot you was uh, sort of dancing. Can you explain that to me again? Yeah, well, it was like time stood still when he pointed that gun at me. And that's when you noticed the, uh, the tap dancey sort of thing? Yeah, like I said, he was doing these weird things with his head. And then his arms started to twitch and the gun was waving all over the place. And the shake went all the way down his body. And his foot was doing it too. The gun went off and uh, I can't remember anything else. Yeah. Sure, we'll, we'll leave it there, Will. Thanks very much for your help, mate. Have a rest. What's all that about? A what? A Jacksonian sequence. 
It's something you get with a brain tumour. It would explain what Will Stone said about that dancey sort of a thing. It's not permanent, it just leaves a bit of weakness down one side. Like a limp. Like a limp. OK, Joe's got us a witness. A woman saw a man with a red kit bag. He had a limp and he took off in a reddish charger and Lee sideswiped her. That's good, a reddish charger. And what kind of idiot would use his own car? My name's Matthew Waldron, and I hereby declare that I robbed the toad office at the Mount Thomas racetrack. I did it alone. I put the bag of money in the roof of the office at my dad's factory. My father had nothing to do with it, neither did Scott Forster. I made it so if and I died, it's got to get off the hook. It wouldn't have helped. It wouldn't be admissible. It's the truth anyway. When I told Scott what happened, he went right off. Matt, I must inform you that you Look, I know all that, all right? Stuff it! It's... Look, he starts tracking me down and me down and gives me... gives me his mudlark pin. And tells me to take it in and then give it back to him and then... he'll take it in. And you guys... you guys kept it. I didn't know what he was going to do. Next thing I know, he's down the station being charged and all that, so I go down and he starts telling me where to hide the shoddy and stuff. So you did? Yeah. I was just stuck. I was freaking out. I, I knew I wouldn't get bail, not after shooting that guy. So why did you? It was an accident. I never meant it. it was... oh, I knew I was stuffed. He's you have trashed everything we have ever had. You're crazy if you think I would spend one minute of time with you for that lousy money. Truth, man. In case you stop so I can have a slash, not to blame, mate. I can, I can run fast. Matt, you keep talking like this, I'm gonna have to ask you to can it. Please, Jack. Matt. I'm never going to see my kid born. Sorry, Matt, I really am. Oh. Matt, you're all right. Oh. Oh. Matt! Oh. Oh. Jack, you're all right. Oh. Now, Thomas, oh. 258 oh. to VKC. You okay? Oh, yeah. A friend of Matt Baldwin's declared I'm in pursuit heading east on foot from St David's Court. Matt! Sounds good. Yep, thanks. Bye. Would coffee help? Don't worry, Jack. We both know you didn't let him go. Yeah, but as the boss... Oh, you know he has to come down heavy. Don't worry, he trusts you. I what if ESD don't believe me? Then I'm out of a job. ESD, don't worry about the toe cutters, mate. We'll um, make sure they don't get the wrong end of the stick. Ben, there's no reports on any stolen cars in St David's, but they've put a vehicle whereabouts out on the Mini. Yeah, Lady hasn't gone to her hospital appointment either, and she's not at the house. I mean, we got there pretty quickly, but it looks like Matt might have beaten us to it. All right. St David's are going to keep up the roadblocks, and I'll resume the search in the morning. Come on, go home. There's nothing more we can do tonight. Can't hope they make it. Anyway, I better get going. I've still got to get something to wear for oh, tomorrow. Oh, what are you wearing? Oh, at the moment, nothing. I told you, you should have asked us. I know. Uh, oh, no, 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 It's all right, it's all right. Back, back, back. Oh. And I'm back. Right. Thanks. Uh, I'm probably going to kill like Matt. I mean, he really loves that girl. He's got so little time left with her. He doesn't pull a stump like that. You know, like this. And Jack goes all to pieces. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, it's much better when you don't think about it, you know? So do you. Thank you. We just turned a corner. Yeah, well, you've got to turn a corner every now and again, Chris, otherwise you run into the wall or you mow the mare down. Huh? Like to learn a promenade? To what? Promenade. Like you said. Uh... Scotty, when did you get back? Just then. I hitched up from Melbourne this morning. Well, Matey, I just wanted to—I just wanted to say that um, I'm sorry. I've been a bloody idiot. That's all right. I was I trying understand. to make it okay for Maddie, and uh, I ended up stuffing you around. It's okay. It's all right. Well, it's not—it's not okay. But I didn't know what else to do. Um, you were right anyway. I was trying to make it good for Letty. I know. They stopped us uh, at a roadblock on the way back and they told me the milk bar that Matt and Led have taken off. They're still out there. I haven't been you know, back I to work he, yet. He's, he's, he's bloody blown at this time. I mean, if he gets sick or if he dies, they're out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, Letty could be in real danger. She's close to time. I know. I've been up half the night trying to work out where they could be. Well, I might be able to help you there. And you think he might have gone to one of these places? I'd say it's a fair bet. All right, Joe, pick up PJ, go out to Letty's Hardy's place at Widgery. That's the most likely place they'd go. Yeah, right. I could try that shack. I don't know if that's such a good idea. You have a tendency to lose offenders. Ha-ha. Uh -huh. All right, Doyle, go with him. Keep an eye on him. Ben, I'll get on to St David's. They can do the abandoned farmhouse, and you and I will try that fishing spot. And all of yeah. you keep in radio contact at all times. Here, aren't you? I think it should be a right turn coming up. Far to go? No, no. Is he armed, do you think? Who knows? The shot is the only gun he's ever had, but. Might just be on the safe side. <laughs> Matt, it's the police. We want you to come out with your hands raised. Matty, come out! Letty's in labour. Don't need days. I'm not armed or anything. Is she all right? She's fine. I'm going to see my baby boy. Hands me against him. Maddie! Keep it square. Yeah, keep it. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right, Letty. You're doing great. How close are the contractions? Close. She's been gone for hours. Okay, Jack, we've got to radio this. And if we leave it here like this much longer, we're going to have problems getting her out. No, 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 guys, guys, you can't do this to me. No, you can't no, take me away. Not now, please. She needs a doctor. No, 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 I'm OK. Shh. Shh. My sister's had home birds. We're really efficient baby machines. Well, can't you guys just give us a bit of time? No, this is all I have, Jack. Please. Come on, mate. Look, she might only need a couple of hours less at the rate she's going. Please, I'm taking Baby needs. Jack. You delivered a baby before? No, no, just calves back home, but well, it can't be that much different. Yep, okay. okay. See, she's crowning. Kiss me the head. It's okay. Okay, there's a, there's a lot of blood here. Yeah, it's just a show. How long has she been bleeding for? Oh, an hour or so. It's okay. No, it's not right. We need a doctor. No, no, it's it's okay. way, way in over our heads. It's okay. Do you mind if I have a look? Yeah, of Right, this this is really bad. There's too much blood, man. She's still bleeding. Something's wrong. OK, it's OK. Matt. Call, call the oh, ambulance. Yep, yeah, go, go. Call go. it now. They're going to take you right. away. No, no, it's all right. It's all right. Hurry. Mount Thomas 208 portable to VKC. Go ahead, 208. Yeah, requesting an ambulance urgently. It's uh, 
a dwellings off the old Bowrang Road. Uh, take a fire track up to the right. We have a pregnant woman giving birth. There's a lot of blood. And offender Waldron's in custody. Received two zero eight on the way. Letty, you've had what's called a placental abruption. You've lost a lot of blood and we need to give you an emergency caesarean section. It's best if we give you a general anaesthetic so we can deliver your baby right away, all right? Baby? Everything's going to be OK and the baby's fine. We just need to deliver her or him for you, all right? Hmm? Um, I'm going to get going. I'm getting in the way. Please don't leave me, Maggie. You haven't got me one. I'm scared. You can stay until we deliver the anaesthetic, all right? OK. Letty's at the hospital, Matt. Maggie's with her. Everything's under control. I'm sorry it had to be like this. No, I understand. Thanks, mate, for everything. Get on with it. I think you'd better see a doctor. It's fine. You okay, mate? Yeah. You all right? With an ambulance in here. You all right? Matty! Yeah. Mate, 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 mate. You all right? What's going on? It's all right. It's okay, mate. You all right? You all right, mate? Yeah, hang in there. Hang in there. Be all right. Hang in there. and stuff. <sighs> She's sleeping now. What are you doing here? Matt collapsed down the station about an hour ago. He's in a coma. Is he going to make it? Possibly. No, probably not. Oh. I'm alright. I'm not the one with the problem. Hey, listen. Mm. PJ's, uh, he's hired a suit. He's waiting for you. Is he? This is your son. It's little Maddie. And I just want you to know that he's got ten fingers and ten toes and the cutest little nose and blue, blue eyes that are just like yours. He's perfect. And little Maddie. This is your dad. Even before you were born, he loved you so much that all he wanted to do was be with you. He knows. Bum. 
man. What are you doing here? Matt died about half an hour ago. I'm sorry, Jake. I really am. Yeah, well. You look great. How's the dance? <laughs> you didn't miss much. Some idiot hired a thrash band and the oldies just stood around looking really glum. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon we could ever learn to dance like that? I don't know what's wrong with PJ. He only has to dance. I don't know what his problem is. He went night clubbing with you, didn't he? Yeah, but that was a disco. This is a ball. I mean, yeah, everyone else is going. Even the boss has bought a Yeah, well, that Janice on the committee, she practically broke my neck. Do you know how to dance, Yes, of course I know how to dance. Tommy, in that case, you could come with me. I've got to go. You could be my partner. I've already bought tickets. It's a great pleasure as well. Great pleasure. Thank you, Matt. Hey! Hey, Matt, I don't know if anyone's told you, but I think your wife might be a little bit pregnant. Three weeks to go. Hey, Scotty, it's two weeks. You should know that. You're the godfather. I thought I was a godfather. Oh, you're both a godfather, boys. Yeah, yeah. And he gets yeah. the best. Yeah, of course. I'll get the drinks. <laughs> How you doing, man? Good, mate. Yeah? Good. Bloody marvellous. Like boys in Brazil, magicians. Serious? Mate, I'll be around for another hundred years yet. <laughs> no way! Come on, get your best down, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Inside? Mount Thomas 208, Ambrose on the way. Uh, can you give us a sit rep regarding his condition? Yeah, VKC, it's a male, 60s, gunshot wound to the upper right torso. It's bleeding pretty heavily. Ambulance is on its way. It's going to pop this behind your head, alright? Receive that, VKC. I'll just be patient then here. Okay. Here we go. What's that? Something important? I hope not. What's the story on the money? Well, the tote people reckon there's usually around 30 grand in the safe at that time of day. Any fingerprints? Only the tote clerk, Will Stone. Nobody saw anything or heard the shot he got. Who called the robbery in? One of the course officials. Well, somebody must have seen something. A motor vehicle, for God's sake. Well, there's been no stolen vehicles listed in the last 12 hours. They might have been planning this for a while. We'll check with St David's to see if there have been any offences with a similar MO. That was a hospital. Uh, Will Stone's out of surgery. He's going to be OK, but he's still unconscious. Well, that's something, at least. What about the stuff from crime scene? Uh, yeah, there's a bike pump there that was Will's. And we can check up on this mudlark pin that Jack found there, but it could have been left there any time. Uh, no, it would have been left in the last three weeks. It's this year's grand final pin. Yeah, well, could be hundreds of these around the place. No, no, they're players and officials' pins. Alfie Mumford, Scott Forster and Branko Panchik. I had 28 made altogether. Right. Actually, Scott was at the races today. I gave him some time off. Maybe he saw something. Yeah, we'll check with him. Thanks, Ian. Look, I know you're going to ask some questions, but uh, you're not really suggesting that any of the muddies could be involved in this, are you? Uh, we're just following up a piece of evidence. I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't like this witch hunt mentality, Tom. My boys are not armed robbers. Look, we, we're just following up every lead. There's a million ways that pin could have got there. There's probably nothing in it, but we do have to check. Look, a man was shot here, and somebody we all know. No, I'm sorry. Things aren't too great at the moment. When's the auction? Three weeks, Tuesday. It'll be over then. That part, anyway. Well, at least Matt's gonna be okay. Lawson gave us the good news. There's no good news. 
I'm going to the war, but I wouldn't have cared if it meant he was going to be OK. He's got a few weeks at the most. That is the last round I'm buying. So if there was a race course Scrooge. full of people, why didn't anyone say anything? You think they walk around with their eyes shut? Oh, who knows? People around here now. Where's PJ tonight? He's probably hiding to avoid the question of whether or not he's got a suit for the ball. Oh, excuse me. Scotty, what's up? I've got nothing, mate. It's fine. What's the problem? It's fine. It's just...